Uh, Drew Landry wants to know, were you around for the WWF's uh, uh, experiment with Tom McGee? Do you remember conversations about him and his matches with Ted DiBiase and Bret Hart? What do you think went wrong? Uh, Tom McGee didn't have any personality. And yeah, the answer, yes, I was around. And Tom, really nice guy. But if there wasn't someone that was extremely talented in the ring across from Tom, Tom could do moves, but Tom had no psychology. And, and I don't think that Tom really liked the business that much. I'm not asking this to be funny because I know you and I both think a lot of him personally now, but I'm not saying this to be funny or rude or disrespectful in any way, but you're saying he didn't have a big personality and he knew how to do moves and he looked great. What's the difference between him and Alex Luger? Not much. So I guess that's the question is why did Lex, was it just the system? Because, because Lex was able to be put in a position to have enough talented performers around him on both sides. Heel and babyface, uh, Lex was hidden in a group and Lex was hidden. Tom was going to be, you know, this mega star baby face and, and man, look, you know, Lex, Lex had a hell of a career on potential. And that, that pretty much just sums it up. But I guess what I'm saying is you said the reason Lex was successful is because he surrounded, he was able to surround himself with really talented performers. A lot of them. You didn't think the WWF at the time had as many or with a look like that, Vince felt like, Hey, this is top guy or nothing. The idea at the time was that this would be a, a top guy. He looks like a top guy. We should make a star out of him right? without the support system, if you will, of having a bunch of guys around him. 24 seven. And, and yes, we did have that. I don't think that Tom just showed too early on, too early on that he didn't have the tools capable to, to do what we needed him to do. If you had it to do over again, do you think you would have tried anything differently with Tom McGee? Yes. In school. I don't know that that would have, I don't know that that ever would have instilled the passion needed to truly be a success. Uh, I think that that comes with time and that comes with love of what you do. So I just am not sure that, uh, that we could have overcome that hurdle. And again, I'm not trying to be argumentative. I'm just trying to understand. I've always been under the impression that Bill Goldberg didn't exactly have a bunch of passion for the wrestling business. He wrestled for money, much like Lex Luger. And Maybe once upon a time, people said that same thing about Brock Lesnar watching what he does these days. I don't know that I believe that, but still, I mean, no Goldberg drew money. I'm not arguing that, but, but I still think that you can take a guy who looks like Tom McGee. Cause I mean, let's talk about why Goldberg drew money. It wasn't his charismatic promos. It, but it he was, did have charisma. It wasn't as, I'm not arguing any of that, but yeah. But, and what I'm saying is Tom McGee didn't. You don't think if you put. Tom, if you showed Tom McGee a Bill Goldberg tape and said, go do that, he couldn't do it. No. Okay. The, the charisma is innate. It's not something that you, that you learn. You either exude it or you don't. And Goldberg had an intensity and a charisma about him, an animal charisma about him that Tom just didn't. Tom was too nice of a guy. Fair enough. No, that's logic. I appreciate it. 